Well, Gang, that was a bit close. Yeah, the eye holes on this blindfold are a bit small. Now, take a deep breath. Here comes the difficult one. Uh, Wolfgang, Nola, I want you all at the governor's caravan. Bad news, I'm afraid. Tell the others. Come on, Coco. Let's rehearse the dialogue. Right. Now, I'll give you all the chocolate you can eat if you can burst these balloons. Well, that's easy. I could do that with my eyes closed. You could. Urgent! We want you in the governor's caravan! What's up, then? <laughs> is the love of my life any clearer? Ah, at last, the mist clears. I see a woman. <coughs> woman, woman. About time, is it Nola, the knife girl? It's your mother. She's sending her love. Well, say hello and ask her to get off the line. She goes. More mist. It clears. Hello, it's Nola. Oh, where? Well, what is she doing? I'm here, you twit. You and Madame Faye is wanted in the office. Oh. <coughs> twit, Miss, Miss, twit. You wounded Joey. I feed you to the cheetah. Right, come along, you three. We're waiting for you. Ah, yeah. oh, oh, there's the telegram. The governor's dead, I'm afraid. What? <gasps> Killed in his car, midnight, last night. I knew it when the elephant trumped last night. How awful. He was such a kind man. As his half-brother, nearest relative, I get the circus. And without beating about the bush, I'm going to sell it. Oh, oh, it's, it's, it's losing money. In any case, it's just a matter of time. Your gambling is losing the money. We've worked here all our lives. Mm. You'll all get a month's pay. I don't want to be hard, but you've got to face facts. You don't really own the circus. We, the oldest members, do. Mr. Brandon had wanted us all to have equal shares when he died, and that included you. Well, hasn't got much say in the matter now, has he? Unless, of course, he comes through on your crystal ball. I was a witness to the will he made ten years ago, leaving equal shares. Ah, yes, the will. I found this in his desk. Just you listen to this, a joker to the last. Have no fear, the will's safe here. Don't worry, Jack, I've signed it. Time waits for no man is the clue. In a tick or two, you'll find it. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. It's a bit obvious, isn't it? Safe, will, find it, tick or two. Well, of course, the ticks refer to the combination of the safe. But as that'll be in his wallet, we'll have to wait for his personal effects to be sent on. And then, in the presence of my lawyer, and, of course, in complete privacy, I shall open the safe and open the will. The same lawyer, no doubt, who got you off the forgery charge two years ago? The very same good lad. <laughs> and by the time we get to see the will, it will be in your favour, you loathsome <laughs> pig. Should have played your cards better, darling. We might have shared it. Well, good night, all. I think I'm going to have the best night's sleep I've had for a long time. Cuckoo. 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 Welcome to Who Done It with another crime to solve. And I can tell you that it wasn't the elephant. But before we continue with the plot, let's welcome our guests. First, the talented actress and terpsichorean, Miss Eunice Stubbs. <laughs> and just about to star in a new series called The Upchat Connection, Robin Nedwell. Plus, our resident panellist, who nearly always gets it right, the lovely Lisa Goddard. <laughs> the 
together with an equally lovely star known everywhere except at Jodrell Bank, Patrick Moore. <laughs> Now, now up to date, Jack Brandon has just inherited Brandon's circus due to the death of his half-brother. He is informed that a will existed which, if found, would mean that he had to share the ownership of the circus with a Coco the Midget, a mad Wolfgang the Knife Thrower and his target Nola, not to mention Lego the Giant, Mesmer the Hypnotist, Aerolita the Trapeze Girl and the aged Madame Fay. Well, whether he found the will or not is quite immaterial to him as he's been killed. But by whom? That is the problem that our panel have got to solve. Fortunately, the nubile Nola was versatile enough to ride her one-wheel cycle to a phone box. As a result, Sergeant Hickey is now on the scene of the crime. All you have to do is follow his investigation, keep your eyes and ears open, watch out for red headings, and I'm sure that you'll find the guilty party. So it's back to Brandon Circus to find out who done it. Oh, by the way, the action takes place in the Yorkshire Dales. Could be a clue. Now then, everybody. <laughs> Who heard the shot? We all did. Yeah, yeah. we all did. Yeah. We all did. We all did. Hmm, well, I'll just take a look inside. It's interesting. Now hmm. yeah, then. Up, Sir Daisy. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. That's, that's really nasty. Oh, this. Oh, dear. Oh. He stabbed with a throwing knife. Now, oh, that'd be uh, Mr. Wolfgang, wouldn't it? He's the, he's the knife man. All oh, my knives are in the board. Anybody could take one, couldn't they? Anyway, he had plenty of enemies because of his gambling debts. Yeah. What makes you think one of us would want to kill him? Yeah. Uh, take it down! Take it down! Shut up, Polly! Take the clock! Hide the wheel! Mm. I wonder whether the bird's referring to this. <laughs> Oh, I, I see the cuckoo clock. Aye, and in very nice condition, too. Oh, oh. I wonder whether the parrot was referring to this piece of paper. We don't know nothing. The bird just talks rubbish. Yeah, oh, rubbish, that's right. Yeah. Strange a parrot talking about a will. I wonder, did somebody expect to find something in that clock? A will, perhaps? A missing will, a murder on a circus out here in the... Yorkshire Dells does suggest an inside job, but that shot you all claim to have heard must have been Mr. Brandon trying to protect himself. No doubt we shall find the bullet later. That plus the fact that the parrot mentioned certain words which indicated foul play. <laughs> uh, no pun intended. <laughs> and as the knife is one of yours, Mr. Wolfgang, you're my first suspect so far. Me? It wasn't me. I swear I wanted nothing to do with it. Okay. It was the old woman's idea. He's mad. That's why they call him Mad Wolfgang. Yes, I was mad to go along with it, wasn't I? Well, would you like to tell us about it? Uh, Madame Fay told us about Mr. Brandon's will, leaving his all equal share to his circus. But the other Mr. Brandon, he wanted it all for himself, and he was a clever forger, so easy for him to change the will. So we all went to Madame Fay's tent to discuss what to do. If he finds the will, he'll forge another. And we'll get nothing. Ugh, oh, as next of kin, he'd get it all anyway. He could burn it. But what can we do about it? Find the will before he does. But how... How can he open the safe? Oh, use your brain. Uh, the cuckoo clock was the governor's favourite possession. He had that number for the safe. That's just for cash. Now, the clue. Time waits for no man. Two ticks and you'll find it. Yeah, what don't you see? Ticks. Time. Cuckoo clock. Cuckoo. Cuckoo. The will is in the clock, not the safe. Brilliant! Oh, thank you, my dear young lady. Ooh. Well, who's going to be going in to get that clock? He sleeps with a gun under his pillow. Remember all them threats he gets? Pity someone don't bump him off. But he has to sleep. Is there any one of us who can't steal a clock with our future in it? Then perhaps we could get a forger to copy it out again without Brandon's name on at all, at all. Yes, I like it, but who's going to do it, eh? There's six of us. I'll take six cards and the death card in memory of our departed friend. <sighs> Who 
whoever picked the death card opens the clock and finds the wheel. <laughs> we all left a tent wondering who'd drawn the card. <laughs> ah. Is anyone would like to confess who done it? Yeah. Not me. No. No. Who done it? No. Who done it? <laughs> Well, uh, welcome back to Who Done It, where a circus owner has been stabbed to death by one of six, or is it seven, suspects. Now, one of them has drawn the tarot card of death, and although only robbery was intended, it's now become a murder case. And to help the panel, and you at home, uh, Detective Sergeant Hickey is asking the questions. So we all left the tent wondering who'd drawn the card. And whoever drew the card killed Brandon. And found the will. So whoever has the will on them is the murderer. Search me, I haven't got it. Or me. I think Mr Wolfgang knows where it is. And I wouldn't be surprised to find his fingerprints upon that knife. Oh, anybody could wear a glove and use my knife. What are you all staring at me for? Tell that to the judge. No, wait, wait. I know who the murderer is. It was Madame Fay. Curse on your evil tongue. I didn't draw the card. No, and I don't believe anybody else drew the death card either. You hated Brandon. No. Besides, there'd be an extra share to split, wouldn't it, if one of us was convicted of murder? How could I, an old woman, do it? I saw you. I tell you, I saw you. I'd just been to feed the sea lions when I saw her pull a knife from my board using a scarf, so my fingerprints would be on it. She went to the door and knocked. Then she must have gone to the clock and found the will. May you rot in hell for uh. your life. Oh, you cunning old witch. Me? Why, if I'd wanted to tell stories, I'd tell me own. It was you, my dear, oh yes, and very clever too. I was very anxious to see you did the deed, so I kept watch near me tent. I saw Aralita climb up the trapeze ladder. She'd a knife between her teeth. She climbed out of the vent hole in the big top and slid down the canvas onto the roof of Brandon's caravan. She looked about and then lifted the skylight and climbed in. I waited and a moment later I heard a shot. <laughs> then I returned to my tent. I waited five minutes, then she came out of the door and ran away, holding an envelope. She has the will. Oh, search my caravan, search anywhere. I have not got it. I am innocent. I did go up the trapeze to test it, and I saw her. She hated Brandon. Oh, Stop! It was me, I confess. I hated Brandon for making eyes at Nola. So I took the knife, and I went to the caravan. I knocked at the door. Brandon had a gun. As I hypnotized him before, it was easy for me. I put him in an instant trance. I gave him the knife. I then told him what to do with it. And he did it. So you see, Noller is not guilty. 
Ah, yes. Oh, such love and devotion. But where is the will, Mesmer? The will? Oh, well, uh, I, co I couldn't find it. Because you didn't do it. Because she did it. You're a lying flyer! As I said, I climbed up my practice trapeze. I was checking my equipment. I looked down and saw Nola. She walked to the door. And knocked. She wore a plastic mug. Brandon opened the door. He had a gun. Nola opened her mac in a flash. Since he could not have me, he's been after her. I did not hear what she say, <laughs> but I can guess. She entered. A moment later, there was a shot. I would not have revealed this, but I am innocent, and she is guilty. If you're so smart, where did I hide the knife, then? In the pocket of your plastic mug. You fancy Wolfgang, you're just trying to get rid of me. I don't have to get rid of you to get Wolfgang. Do I, Wolfgang? I think it was Wolfgang. After all, he's the knife man. Oh, do you? Well, you just cooked your goose. Cos I saw him do it. I'd just been to give my bun to Henry when I saw Lego on his stilts walk up to the caravan. He had a glove on and he was holding a knife. He knocked at the door. Brandon opened it. Lego took him by surprise and stabbed him. <laughs> I didn't wait to see any more, but as I ran off, I heard a shot. Lies! I, I was with Coco, wasn't I? You were, Lego, and I swear to that, and all, and all, and all, and all, and all. Hello. Welcome to Thames at Six. Tonight we're going to have a look at circuses. Are they dying, and is the big top going to disappear. We didn't even hear the shot. We we're too busy watching the programme. That's right! Mm. Oh, there's two of you with alibis, I see. And you, sir, your, your story is very far-fetched. Where were you? In my caravan uh, with Nola for quite some time. Oh. oh, why didn't you say so? All she's got to do is to corroborate your story and then you have an alibi. Oh, alas, she wouldn't remember being there for more than a few moments. You see, I hypnotized her. What? Well, just to help her to give up smoking. Then I removed the memory. And that's all I did. Going to have to get a proper detective to solve this one, aren't you? Uh, it's already solved, miss. I think I even know where the will is. Right, the suspects are assembled, and the panel have seen all the clues and the red herrings. All they have to do is to cross-examine these simple circus folk. Then they will find out who is telling the truth. Personally, I think perhaps Coco the midget lit the fuses to his exploding boots and flew up in the air and stabbed Brandon as he opened the door. <laughs> but after some of these stories, anything's possible. Right, panel, if you want a replay of any of the action, speak now or forever hold your peace. Patrick, what would you like to see again? Well, uh, yeah. I must admit, I was tempted to uh, ask if I could see the leggy Aerolita checking her equipment up the ladder again, but um, <laughs> I won't. I I'd like to see um, the leggy police constable, please, when he first comes into the... when he's in the caravan and he's perusing the scene of the crime. Perusing? A very motorcycle and sad car this evening. <laughs> you mean having a butcher's? Having a butcher's. Right. <laughs> right, Patrick, that shall be yours. Yeah, you know, what would you like to I'd see like, again? I'd uh, like to see the, the piece after that after Patrick's scene. Right. You shall see that. Thank Lisa. Uh, yes, I'd like to see it where, where they're all in Madame Faye's tent, and just before she deals up the cards. Where the, she... the mass meeting? Yes. Yep. Yes. Right. Robin Nedwell? Uh, the, the piece I'd like to see has already been asked for, so, I mean, for absolute, utter enjoyment, can I please see the great Mesmer knocking him off again? <laughs> 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 
great Mesmer knocking him off again. Oh, yeah. All right. Good. Well, while we're looking for their replays, let's have some questions, shall we? Patrick, a question, please. Well, you know I've got it wrong for the last three weeks running. Yes, I do know that, yes. Yes, it's going to yes. be a very short programme <laughs> because I've got it right and I'm going straight to the point. Um, I've spotted a mistake. Oh, a big one. What? Well, don't um, tell anybody else. Do keep it a secret. Oh, no, don't, no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, carry on, Patrick. Let's see if they can get out of it. Cocoa, yes. coffee, cocoa, um, and Lego. Uh, when you were your alibis, the two of you, um, oh. you said you did you get it? It's all right, Yuna. <laughs> don't pay any attention. <laughs> he can often be you wrong. You said you were watching the television. That's right. Right? That's right. And whereabouts does this uh, little carnival take place? Which carnival is that? The, 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 the circus. Where are you camped, as they say? Oh, it's up in Yorkshire. Up in Yorkshire. And what was the programme you were watching? It was uh, Thames at Six. Yeah. Thames at Six, yeah. was it? No, they get that up there, do they? <laughs> oh, well, sometimes they do, yes. Well, uh, it's a bit of a long way, yes. And they get terms at six in Yorkshire? Oh, I don't know evening. about that. I don't live in Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> but you were in Yorkshire and you were watching the television and you were watching terms at six? That's true. You're yeah, right there, yes. On television? <laughs> That's right, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was he's, he's yes, an Patrick, Irish dwarf. Yes. <laughs> have you, uh, you have finished. He is an Irish dwarf. That's right, Noel and Yeah, right. Yes, you've finished. <laughs> and you could be wrong, you know. There is a way. Is there? You, ha ha. I, I know. Yeah, oh. All right. <laughs> how, how, how do you get? How do you Right. Mean? You know. Now, you went, gave a great big sigh just now. Don't, yes, pay, any that's... Don't pay any oh, attention to what he I says. See. He can be very wrong. You carry on. What do you it's think? It's very impressive, isn't it? Um, <laughs> uh, Mad Wolfgang. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to ask you a question. Um, why do they call you Mad Wolfgang? Well, I used to be a slack wire walker. And my partner, my partner got to 20 stone and when she jumped on the wire, she bounced me off and I fell on my head. <laughs> and I've had to have a silver plate in my head and when it gets hot, I'll go off a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit hot in here tonight, yeah. You to say what happens on a hot day. <laughs> well, I yes. don't know, I have to take a swim. <laughs> you right? Yes. You, yes, please, Lisa. Oh, yes. Um, uh, yes, I'd uh, um, Shall I go back to the other point? Yes. Do you want me to let the cat out of the bag so early, or shall I do it later? Yeah, no, no, do it no, now. Go right. Be bold. Oh, Coco and, and Lego. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed that you were actually watching that program on a, the video on your television. And That's in fact, right. the tapes uh -huh. were down. Oh. So you yes. taped it down in London, hadn't you? In fact, you when were watching we were it much in later. London, it was taped. Yes, yes, you were watching it some later. Well, we had lots of Smarty pen. Yes. <laughs> you are because it was about circuses, you taked it. Well, we like circuses. Yes, being, like, being circus folk. Yeah. Being interested in that sort. <laughs> you see what I said, Patrick? It, it's possible. <laughs> and it was. And he's got it right. Yeah, OK. Next, let's move. You? Yeah, let's move on. <gasps> Robin. Yes, I, <laughs> that's one, blown one, Patrick One up, likely <laughs> question. Uh, PC Hickey. Where, was there a bullet hole in Sergeant the Sergeant Hickey, please. Sar Sorry, I've got it down to PC here. Sergeant. Sergeant. Was there a bullet hole inside the, in, in the caravan? Well, there, there was, yes. Uh, it's very difficult to describe, right. you know. So, right. And uh, uh, <laughs> could I have one quick one? Yes, of course, of course. Um, Air I yes. would like to know what equipment you were checking up. <laughs> I always have to check my bits and pieces. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to get very silly. Can I, can hey, I ask you uh, what... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, oh. there goes the buzzer. And that means we're ready for the first clip, the first replay, which is yours, Patrick. Uh, this is the first one, and it's for Mr Mower, who, in an effort to improve his acting, wants to see how a country policeman reacts to finding a dead body. So, Patrick, look and learn. It's <laughs> interesting. Hmm. Now then. Up, Sir Daisy. <laughs> Oh, that's nasty. That's that's really nasty. <laughs> yes. Yes. Certainly. Just one quick question to the police constable, uh, sir. Sergeant. When you when you turned over the the body, could the people outside see where the, the dagger was? I don't think they could. No. I Fine. Think. Thank you. Okay. Can I just ask um, Mesmer, uh, Mesmer, the hypnotist? Um, can you hypnotise anybody? Oh, of course. Can you hypnotise yourself? Uh, no. <laughs> Why? <coughs> Why none? Because I have a stronger will than me. <laughs> so, what, what, what I want to know is... <laughs> <laughs> what, what I really want to know...
want to know is, uh, the Madam uh, Young Nola, Nubal Nola, uh, said mm. that she wasn't with you. She was oh, unaware. Well, she was, yes. She was unaware of being with you. But you could have hypnotised her to do something naughty, couldn't you? No, 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 sir, no, no. I don't no, mean the murder, I mean something naughty. No, you see, the first time that you, <laughs> the first time that you hypnotise someone, it takes a long time. You see, it's only after that that it becomes easy. And you can hypnotise her without her knowing? Again now, yes. Go on, then. <laughs> Is she gone? Yes, yeah, she's gone. Nola? Nola? Talk to her, she cannot hear. Nola, could you move a bit to your left? I can't see your legs. <laughs> <laughs> she's gone. Shall I bring her back for you? Yeah, don't look at me like that. <laughs> no, yes. Satisfied. Oh, yes, <laughs> Do yes, <laughs> Lisa. Yes. yes, Nola. Where do you yeah. about have uh, want to give up smoking? Yeah, I suppose so. Yes. Did, did you really go round there to, uh, you know? No, of course not. You can't hypnotise uh, anybody. <laughs> oh yes, I thought as much. And Lola, you said. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there we are, ready for the next replay, and it's yours, Lisa. Oh good. Uh, you <laughs> asked to see the villains plotting in Madame Fay's tent. Now, if you look very hard into her crystal ball, you may see where the death card went. But don't blink or you'll miss it. Watch very carefully. Six of us are take six cards and a death card in memory of our departed friend. All right, Lisa? Yes. Any um, questions? Yes, yes. Uh, Madam Fay, um, does, does the elephant always, always trump when there's a death in the circus? <laughs> well, he does usually. He does. But he does. I, I can't say that he... Well, I, yes, I'd say he does, yes. Well, there can't be many deaths, because, I mean, you've all been together about ten years. If you... If you uh, saw the will, oh, but I've been ago. longer at it than ten years. But, I mean, this little group have been together at least that long, haven't they? Well, perhaps he makes mistakes sometimes. We all do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Also, I didn't see the cards. I, uh, the worries me a bit. I mean, yes, Patrick? No, 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 please. <laughs> Carry on, Lisa. <laughs> the floor is yours, yes. <laughs> no, You're both waving. Yes, I'm sorry. You're all right. <laughs> Right. Have you finished? Mm, yes. Yeah, right, Patrick, ready what, to go, right. The, the Mad Wolf. The Mad Wolf. What's his name? The Mad Man. Hello. Uh, Wolfgang. What did you say you did in the, 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 the before in the song? I was a slack wire walker, wasn't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, I mean, the way you're dressed, I mean, your muscles are a bit slack now, really, aren't they? Yeah. Doing all that. You trying to take a liberty with me? No. no. I'll, <laughs> I'll pin your ears back, won't I? <laughs> <laughs> You're innocent. I give in. I'm, I'm, you know, you know, that's the right thing to have said, Patrick. You've never had your hair well, so well parted in your life. Right. Good. That is ready for the next replay. This is yours, Robin. It's time for your flashback. You asked to see the bit where Mesmer hypnotizes Brandon to kill himself. Yes. I'd have thought that if he needed any money, he could have gone to his bank and worked that for an overdraft. Anyway, here it is. I put him in an instant trance. I gave him the knife. I then told him what to do with it. <laughs> and he did it. Fantastic. <laughs> 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 well, you enjoyed that enormously. I love it. Has Nothing it, to do with any has it helped you? Has it helped you at all? Can I go back to Nola? Yeah, of course. What please. were the bits and pieces you were checking up in the thing? I'd love to know. <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't know. Air and liter, I'm sorry. Air I apologise, my dear. That's all right. What, what bits and pieces were you checking up with? Oh, well, mainly my stays. Your stays? <laughs> <laughs> what happens if your stays break? That's a silly question. Does the big top fall I down? I fall back into the bits and pieces. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I should, I should, I should go back. Hey. No, that, that's, hey. that's enough, thanks. Yes, you know? I was going to ask uh, PC, no, no, Sergeant. Sergeant. Sergeant Hickey, um, did you check the knife for fingerprints? Well, no, you see, this is a matter of procedure. Uh, you have to go through the procedure, you see, it has to be processed, and it goes through different departments. I send it off to the, you know, the actual people who... Yes. The answer is no, he didn't check <laughs> <it>. <laughs> yes. Yes. yes, Yes, Patrick. Uh, Lego, can I just ask you, please, how tall are you on your stilts? About, um... About eight feet. About eight feet. And how tall are you, Coffee? 
Coco. 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 How tall are you? On me still so often. As you are? As me are, I'm about, um, about four foot. Eight foot. And how tall is the caravan? That's 12 foot, isn't it? I don't How know. It's caravan. behind you. No, it's Carav less than that. It's about as tall as it is there. So it <laughs> what, what, what are you trying to get at? Well, I'm trying to... You see, I'm very interested in the fact of the, these footprints or, or lack of footprints on the carpet, to be very honest with you, and I, I want somebody to get in there. Now, either you could have got on your mate's shoulders or he could have taken his um, feet off, couldn't he? <laughs> He's You're guessing feet. now, then, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> because if I feel I may go on about that, that flashback thing, that machine, yes. you see, it said that here is the news at six, but it needn't be six o'clock. No, they could be, say, it, could be, it could be 20 later. past six. Oh, my later. goodness. Next day. Yes, it could really well be, couldn't it? Yeah. Yes. Aha. Awesome. Uh -huh. <laughs> Saved by the bell. We were getting into very deep water there. You <laughs> <laughs> the studs. Uh, here's your flashback. You wanted to see Lego doing the murder. Personally, I thought it was the tallest one I've ever heard, but if it needs help, here you are. He had a glove on, and he was holding a knife. He knocked at the door. <coughs> Brandon opened it. Lego took him by surprise and stabbed him! <coughs> yes. <laughs> that was lovely. Did you enjoy yes, it? very much. Did it help you? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to ask um, Nola a question. Yes, of course. Nola, um... Oh, I forgot. What, oh, I know what it is. Um, do you have a lot of nerve to stand there while the knives are being thrown at you? Well, I suppose so. So you'd have a lot of nerve to actually kill somebody, wouldn't you? Well, I don't think it's the same thing at all. Well, I don't know. I mean, she's <laughs> quite angry. <laughs> 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 I don't want to ask any more questions. Please, you know, don't be intimidated <laughs> by very angry witnesses. <laughs> yeah, Robin. Yeah, I'd like to ask the... the um, the great Mesmer, as man to man, who exactly, at the moment, he's having an affair with? <clears throat> that is a, a question, sir, that no gentleman would answer. Oh, well, in the court of law, I mean, we are in the... Sergeant Hickey is present. I'm sure you could answer. Or is it that you don't wish to answer, perhaps? It is impossible for me to answer, sir. Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> there is no answer, sir. You're not having an affair? You could put it that way, sir. <laughs> Fine. Very evasive. Yes, totally. Very, yes, utter confusion reigns. Yes, Lisa. Yes, uh, Lego, do you often wear your stilts about the place? I mean, you surely you take them off when you're oh, not. Yes, there. I've got them off now, but because they're tight, you see, they're heavy. Yes. But I, I have to keep in practice because that, that otherwise I'd soon get out. It's like riding a bicycle. What sort of shoes do you wear inside the trousers? Inside the. Yes, the, the ordinary street. Ordinary, ordinary shoes, are they? Oh, they're here. They're, they're, oh. They're, 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 oh, I see, yes. Oh, oh, right. Moods attached to the oh, stage. Oh, yes, I understand that. Yes. I'm sorry. Oh. Ding a ling a ling. Time oh. is up. Oh. So, panel, I'd like you now to write down who you think did it. <laughs> and uh, while they're doing that, we'll show an extra clue to you viewers at home. See if this helps you solve the dirty D. Hey. That's interesting. Now hmm. yeah, then. Up, Sir Daisy. Oh, that's nasty. That's that's really nasty. Well, don't look so puzzled. It'll all be clear in a moment. Let's have your card, Robin. There we are, sir. Lisa. Thank you. Thank you. I thought you were good at pulling birds. Angry <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you didn't, didn't pull the parrot. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a star. Yeah, right. I have their cards. They can't change their minds. So uh, let's see how easy it was. We're going to start the other end, Patrick, and put you through misery tonight. Yes, Robin, who done it and why? Terribly easy, actually. Terribly easy. Terribly easy. Mm -hmm. uh, on two facts. Affirmed on the question of PC Hickey, where was the bullet? The bullet was inside the caravan. Which means that eliminates virtually uh, I, a lot of our eyewitness reports. Now, Great Mesmer, so it was supposed to have committed it outside. Uh, Madame Fay outside. Lego and Coco outside. Difference being, of course, that if they had done it, the only way they could have done it without leaving footprints on the inside was for Coco to go on Lego's shoulders. But if he had done that, he would have had to jump to stab him because he wouldn't have reached him from down there. So I eliminate Coco as well. 
Which you better left. hurry up and tell us who did it, otherwise you're going to pass. No, 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 Air Alita. Air Alita, no footprints inside. She went up, down, through the roof. Boom, stabbed him inside, bullet inside. Definitely. So, Air Alita. Air Alita. Right, thank you very much indeed. Lisa. Well, actually, I thought it was all of them at first, but I changed my mind. And, um, in fact, <laughs> the one I came down to in the end, just for two reasons, Madame Faye, because she was the only one in the story who stabbed him on the left shoulder, which is where the knife was when the policeman found him. Mm. That's basically all, I've, all the ideas I've got about yes. it. Yes. Mm. Uh, yes, very good. Not very good. Don't be disappointed. <laughs> you now, who do you think did well, it? Well, again, like Robert, uh, um, the footprints bit got me. And I think that Lego and Coco did it. Lego and Coco? Yes. Mm -hmm. Because I think um, Coco was on Lego's shoulders mm -hmm. um, to get through the skylight. Mm -hmm. Lego knocked on the door. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Him of right and uh, shot him. Yeah. And uh, and Coco threw the knife through. Thank you very much Sorry indeed, <laughs> Patrick. A quick one, a reply, please. We're rather short for time. Patrick, miles a star. Um, Erolita did it uh, because she came through the thing, didn't leave any footprints. The reason Lego didn't do it was because he actually uh, stabbed him in the flashback on the wrong side. And yours, uh, the, it, they, they would have all left footprints. That's um, right. It was Erolita on her own. Thank you very much indeed. Now, before I ask the murderer or murderers to stand, where is the will? Well, uh, it's in time waits for no man. Wait. You got that, didn't you, Patrick? Waits. Waits. Well, let's have a look and see what it says. I'm so sorry, you've all wasted your time. He snapped the whole lot to the RSPCA. <laughs> <laughs> so now, will the real whodunit stand up, please? Well, I'd like to confess. But it wasn't me. Oh. <laughs> ah. Uh, 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 well, uh, 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 how do you split the money, Pat? We both want a pound. <laughs> All right, thank you very much indeed. That's excellent. <laughs> right, thank you. The bloodhound is back on form. Dead right, Robin. <laughs> Dead right. Patrick, you were sliding up a bit there with those clues. They weren't quite right. Yes, but they weren't. I had them all. No, they had a very good alibi, those two. You see the recording. OK, splendid. Congratulations, Robin. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you, sir. A lot of people right tonight. Now, let me explain. You see, with all that mud outside, uh, only, yes, pay your debts, Patrick. <laughs> only someone swinging on a rope and someone Thank entering by the roof uh, could have clean feet. If the others had entered by the doors described, they would not have left a they would have left a muddy trail on the white carpet on their way to the clock. But the only fit prints were the policemen's. All the other stories, of course, were red herrings. Only Madame Fay was telling the truth. Well, next week we have some visitors from the Arabian Gulf, but before they can buy Harrods, their leader, Sheikh Mahmoud, dies after drinking some coffee. Was it instant? Hopefully we'll find out next week when our panelists are Anna Dawson. Jimmy Jewell, Anushka Hempel, and Michael Holloway. Try to solve who done it. And good night. <laughs>